A new police academy at Quinsigaman Community College is aimed to help prepare those interested in becoming a part-time officer. It's the first of its kind in Massachusetts, and the school says they want to give as many students as possible the opportunity. Our Roslyn Flaherty joins us now with more on the new program. Roslyn. Olivia, anyone over the age of 18 can apply for this program. The sergeant in charge of it says it's a way for people to get their foot in their door to law enforcement. Amanda Joquin wants to further her career in law enforcement and with a new unique program at Quinsigaman Community College, the dispatcher now has the opportunity. I do have the education part, but I don't have any field experience and it is a step towards that direction. The Reserve Intermittent Recruit Officer Academy at Quinsigaman Community College is geared towards anyone interested in becoming a part-time officer. QCC's police chief will sponsor anyone interested in applying. It's going to be able to give uh, individuals the opportunity to get their, their feet in the door. Sergeant Joseph Checky helped bring the program to the college and says he got his start in law enforcement through a program like this. I started part-time in a town. I now work full-time here at the college as well as a, as a town as a part-time police officer. And I think it's a really great entry level um, opportunity. Sergeant Checky says QCC is the first community college in the state to have this program. He says it will run like a regular police academy and will be overseen by the Massachusetts Police Training Committee. We're streamlining the process. We're making it easier for individuals to seek training to eventually try to apply for employment at a town, city, or even a college police department. Joe Quinn has already applied and been accepted and is looking forward to her future in law enforcement. Not only do you get education, you now get the experience um, that will give you the job opportunity to become an officer. Now classes will start in September, but there will be information sessions the next two Mondays for anyone who's interested. Rosalind Flaherty, Worcester News Tonight.